My name is Steven Fluen, and I'm back again for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. Let's kick things off with the world of Android. The Android Game SDK is launching its first library, helping developers with frame pacing, the synchronization of a game's rendering loop with the display subsystem and the underlying display hardware. More details and a link to the documentation are on the post. For mobile developers, the new AR Core Depth API allows developers to create a depth map using a single RGB camera. The depth map is created by taking multiple images from different angles and comparing them as you move your phone to estimate the distance to every pixel, enabling experiences that are vastly more natural, interactive, and helpful. If you're interested in trying the new depth API, please fill out our call for collaborators form, which you can find on the post. We're announcing new features to help create more immersive and engaging gameplay experiences for games built with Google Maps Platform. We've added a ranking signal that allows you to improve the rank of playable locations associated with venues that people find artistically interesting, like museums, gardens, and galleries. Another addition, Playable Territories, allows you to divide the world into regions with boundaries that align with natural features like rivers and roads. For more on these and other new features, check out the post from the Google Maps team. The Dart team just announced a major update to dartpad.dev with a fresh new look and feel. And we've added support for the popular Flutter UI toolkit. Dartpad.dev makes it easy to start a new Dart or Flutter project online. Visit dartpad.dev and give it a try. Work on Chrome 80 is underway, and it's bringing with it new DevTools updates. Developers using Chrome 80 are able to redeclare variables declared with let or class, making it easier to experiment in the JavaScript console. Chrome 80 also supports improved WebAssembly debugging. This provides increased support for stepping over code, setting breakpoints, and resolving stack traces in your source language within DevTools. Learn more about Chrome 80 DevTools in our blog post. Google Open Source is proud to announce Google Summer of Code 2020, giving university students from around the world the opportunity to hone their skills by contributing to open source projects during their summer break. Participants gain invaluable experience working directly with mentors who are dedicated members of these open source communities. Applications for interested open source project organizations open on January 14th, 2020, and student applications open March 25th. Check out the post to find more. That's all for us today. Please remember to share your love for The Developer Show. Like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. But all this extra gear was just like weighed me down and I couldn't run. And at the heart of humans versus zombies, being able to run really fast is kind of important. So that, that was a poor strategic choice on my part.